Great. So I, again, I want to thank everyone uh, for your contributions over the last few days. Uh, we've had some fantastic talks. As per last year, it was very varied. We've had some quite theoretical talks, I think we'll would agree, and we've also had some much more applied stuff. But that was the sort of point of creating this conference, was to try and get these two groups of people talking to one another. Uh, and I hope that you've also felt that. And um, to recognize some particular efforts from people, uh, we have uh, a bunch of prizes. Uh, so uh, we're doing this sort of somewhat dynamically. Uh, I hope everyone has now casted their vote, who's able to vote for, for best poster and best, uh, best ECR talk. Um, so I'm going to assume that all the voting is now closed. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to announce the awards. We don't actually have, last year we had some chocolates that we were going to give people um, to complement the £200, which I think people are probably more interested in. Um, this year we don't have chocolates because we think the £200 is probably enough. Um, and so um, firstly, uh, I'd like to, to, to announce that the winner of the best ECR poster is uh, Alicia uh, Gill. So, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks everyone. I thought my poster was trash. <laughs> <laughs> Very honest. Um, <laughs> great. And uh, in the same way, uh, is have we still got Jonas here? We do. And Jonas is the winner of the best ECR talk. Congratulations. Thank you. Cheers. And this year we had one extra prize because uh, one of the last year we had a discussion session for those of us that were here about the importance of reproducibility in the area of inference. Um, and I think it still stands at some of the points in that discussion this year. Um, but we wanted to recognize that in the form of an award for individuals who contributed research to this this conference which was deemed to be the most reproducible and so uh, we didn't open that out to the audience to vote on because you know frankly it, you know it takes quite a lot of effort to go and look at the repositories in detail and, and assess whether or not the research was reproducible so uh, there was a, a few of us in the committee me tom and aiden in the university of maine who who went through the entries this year uh, and so, you know, to give you an idea of the criteria that we were looking at, um, we looked at the repositories. Both were, were GitHub repositories. So firstly, Tick, they were both uh, the, 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 the winners. Uh, so I'm giving the game away. We were splitting the prize because two entries were equally good. Um, both of the entries had uh, posted their code on, on GitHub. They had a very good sort of readme, which described how well to, to, to reproduce the analyses that they'd done. Um, the software requirements actually were detailed very well on, on the GitHub repositories. Um, and the both repositories had kind of descriptive tutorial examples. Um, and so, yeah, these are some of the criteria that we looked into. And so I'm very pleased to announce that we've got the sort of first iteration of the Bioinference Reproducibility Prize. And it's going to be split between two people. Uh, one is Thijs van der Plas, and uh, the other person is, is Adam. So, yeah. Please, so, yeah. Great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well done. Thank Cheers. Thank Thanks you. very much. Cheers. <laughs> cool. Great. So uh, after the sublime, we have the somewhat dreary um, <laughs> expenses. Um, if you are claiming expenses for this, uh, conference, uh, we have uh, some envelopes and uh, some sort of printed Excel sheets that if you could uh, fill out the Excel sheets and put in your receipts into the envelopes and give them to us by the end of the conference, that's great. If you don't have all your receipts with you, that's fine. You can also email them to us too. Um, but yeah, if you could do so relatively promptly, that'd be great. Um, I guess I've, it's not just a plea, I've got a number of pleas to you, um, which is that you know, we'd like this conference to continue. I, th I think hopefully people realized that, well, hopefully people thought that this was a good thing to do, um, to have this sort of conference uh, where you get people from different areas of biology and inference talking to one another. So we'd like it to continue next year. Um, 
We do pretty well in terms of participation of different universities. At the moment, we've got six different universities amongst the organization team, but we'd like more. As I said last year, it would be kind of great if we didn't have this in Oxford next year, we had it somewhere else, but you know, uh, perhaps, perhaps it could be in Warwick next year as, as an option. Um, but yeah, anyone from any other universities too, if they want to get involved in the organization, that'd be great. Uh, other areas as well, gender, at the moment we only have one female as part of the organizing team. So especially if you know, you'd like to get involved, uh, uh, that'd be great too. And, and similarly across career stages, you know, we've got everyone um, from uh, PhD students up to uh, professors as part of the organizing team. So again, across uh, different uh, career stages would be great too. So please just let us know. You know, you can let me know now. A few people have already indicated so in the, throughout the course of the conference, which is great. You can always email us afterwards. And we'd be particularly interested in hearing from you if you've got really good ideas about how we could fund this next year. So if you've got way, ideas about how we can sustainably fund the conference, which doesn't involve us applying to a bunch of different disparate uh, funding bodies, that would be great too. And then finally, um, just uh, to let you know, we will we'll be sending out a form uh, over the next few days uh, to get your feedback about how the conference went and yeah basically to let us know how we can improve for next year so please do fill out that form that's really helpful for us and then finally I just just wanted to to thank uh, the various people that have been involved in organizing this event so uh, the various members of the organizing committee so I'd ask them to stand up now um, you guys And I'd also like to recognise those people that couldn't be here today that were also part of the organising committee, uh, John Lockley, uh, Aidan Farrow and Richard Creswell, who are, um, well, uh, Aidan and, uh, and John are joining online. Um, and particularly for John, there was no prospect that he would ever actually get here in person. So he's done all this on his own goodwill. So uh, I'd very much like to thank them who are joining online and hopefully they can hear us clapping. So. Great, and with that, I'm going to uh, close the conference and hopefully people can get off and get home in good time. So thanks very much, everyone. <laughs>